Hey guys, by the way, it's me Mark, hoping that all of you are fine and healthy. And of course, welcome to Habit TV. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to breed and use zebra fish easily and perfectly. But before we start, don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. And make sure to watch this video till the end for you not to miss every single details. So let's jump into the video. First to do is to separate the male and female danios. As what you can see, they are in different separate tanks, the male and female danios. And you need to start the breeding process by making sure you can tell the difference between your male and female. Male danios are normally skinnier than their female counterparts and their colors are usually more vibrant. If the females have started to produce eggs, they will look chubbier. Feed your danios high quality live food. While your male and female danios are on their separate tanks, you can feed them high quality live food just like dapia, blood worms, and mosquito larvae, even tubifex worms. You should be able to find live food at most aquarium stores or pet stores or even online stores just like that. Continue this process for 1-2 to two weeks before attempting to breed your danios. If you are unable to obtain live food, you can use frozen food as an alternative. You should notice the female danios grow roundier as they are being conditioned. After 1-2 to two weeks of conditioning, your adult danios will be ready to breed. In order to be prepared, you need to set up a breeding tank during the first week of conditioning as what you can see right now. We are using the IOA plastic net as what we do as usual in goldfish and barbs breeding to make the eggs just fall at the bottom and to make the eggs 100% safe and not to get eaten by the parents. Some breeders use a spawning map and marble and even adding plants to their breeding tank but this will not guarantee the 100% eggs safety and if you are in cold counter you may add heater to the tank and keep the temperature between 72 Fahrenheit and 82 Fahrenheit. And now let's move our danios in our breeding tank and continue to feed them live food. Spawning simply means the female danios have laid eggs and male danios have fertilized the eggs. Since you can't tell if the eggs are fertilized, the best thing to do is watch for the eggs at the bottom of the tank. And of course between 6 to 7 am you can see while they are still breeding you can see the, the eggs are falling at the bottom. Once you see eggs, you know that your danios have already spawned so what you can see. There are a lot of eggs, right? <laughs>
and now you can move the adults back to the regular tanks. And let's add methylene blue here to discourage the fungus bloom. After two days, you can see that the eggs are already hatched but still laying on the ground and some of them are sticking on the glass. After 3 to 4 days, they are already free swimming as what you can see. They are so tiny and cute. <laughs> this time you can feed them with microworms and infosoria because they are so tiny. And after a week or so, this time you can feed them by with baby brine shrimp and dapia, even flakes. And you don't need to worry because they are not sensitive just like beta fish and angelfish fry. And that's it. Thanks so much guys for watching this video till the end, hoping that this will help you raise thousands of zebra fish on your tank. <laughs> and by the way, I just want to shout out our fellow certified hobbyist here, Fish Labber 2, Nikoloi Iskorson, and to all our fellow hobbyists who supported our channel. Thank you, thank you very much guys. And please be safe. And for those who are new here, please like our video and consider subscribing for you not to miss out our future videos like this one. And see you next time guys. May God bless us all. Bye bye.